Hello my friends, first a big big thank you for 1000 subscribers. I really wasn't expecting such a big growth after just starting two and a half months ago. Also thank you for all your positive comments. They really motivate me to work hard on making more and more useful ML content for you guys. Thank you. Last Sunday I had the first longer gaming session together with my wife in the new season. Still being an epic rank I played together with some uh, let's say interesting teammates. They gave me the urge to talk about the 10 mystics you really should avoid when you want to rank up. Please don't skip around and burn this information into your brain. So ranking up will hopefully become a cakewalk for you on this season. Also don't forget to leave a like and to share it to any ML player you know. So we are all blessed with more awesome teammates. Regarding this we have Mystic number 1 Tilting over your teammates Right now there are so many ML players who have absolutely no f idea what they are doing, even in higher ranks. So when you play with random teammates together, really don't expect anything from them. Nothing. Period. Go into any game with a mindset that you are playing together with 4 headless chickens. Try to get out the best in each situation for you. Your teammates jump into a 2 vs 5? Don't even think about getting involved into this. Better make sure to defend the lanes after they messed up. While you're in the game, observe what your teammates are doing. If you realize that you actually have a good teammate, stick together with him. If not, try to take all matters into your own hand. Also never ever start to flame your teammates, even when they write non-stop. You will not improve the gameplay with that and easily lose your focus. Most likely they will even become worse than before and you will lose the match this way. Flaming your enemy on the other hand can be really effective. They can become so angry that they just blindlessly attack you and you can take full advantage out of it. Mistake number two, dying. Listen carefully and repeat, I'm not dying no matter what. For example, when your pro teammate decides to headlessly push again while all enemies are around, just let him die. Saving your noob teammate is almost always the wrong decision because you're just joining him in the abyss this way. In order to carry your team, you really can't afford losing any time and therefore a lot of farm. So again, repeat after me, I'm not dying no matter what. Mistake number three, not knowing you build an emblem. By knowing what each item does, you can improve your win rate massively. I would go so far that you can improve it up to 10%, which is enormous. This was a mistake I've made far too long while playing ML, because I had no freaking idea what my build in Emlyn does. I just had my one build for every hero that I copied and that's it. I'm giving you a few examples for the items. The most basic one is the effect of Sea Halberd and Necklace of Durants. They have an anti-regeneration effect that triggers once you attack an enemy. This item is vital to use when playing against any hero who have a regeneration effect. Otherwise, these heroes will completely dominate the game. The next example is Endless Battle. Did you know that after using a skill, the next basic attack will deal true damage? Which means you should use a basic attack after every skill to trigger it many times? If you're using this item and didn't know this, well, GG, you're missing out of thousands of damage points in each and every match. And surely missed out on game changing kills because of that. And this is the case for each and every item and emblem. I already saw tanks running around with a full physical defense build, while playing against a team where 4 heroes dealt magical damage. So this tank is basically completely useless because he doesn't know his build. By the way, I'm starting the season 21 push challenge in mid July, where I'm uploading a new ML guide for 30 days straight to give you all knowledge you need to rank up quickly. The big guides like this one are coming out every Monday and Thursday and you guys can choose each topic you would like to see. For that keep an eye on the community tab where I will let the votes run. Every other day I will introduce a couple of items and emblems so you are becoming a pro regarding your builds. If you are up for the challenge please subscribe now so you're not missing any video. Let's move on now with the video too. Mistake number four, not knowing how each hero works. By this I don't mean that you have to know every little detail about every hero. That's impossible as long as ML is not your full time job. But you should know at least the basic concept of each hero. When you don't know what your enemy is capable of you can make the right decision on what to do next. For example knowing the cooldown times of every hero can give you an enormous advantage against them. If an enemy uses his dash skill and you know how long the cooldown is about you know exactly the time you have to attack and kill this bloke. Also knowing the weaknesses of every hero will improve your skill dramatically because you can outplay them easily. That's by the way one of the video ideas I have. Making a couple of videos where I'm explaining each hero's weaknesses. Vote for it if it interests you. Mistake number five. Not being able to adjust. That's another mistake that can really hinder you from ranking up. You should have at least one main hero for each role. For example my main Jawhead can be used on three different roles. 
a side laner on the XP lane, as jungler or as tank. What basically means, I can use him in any game, as long as he's not getting banned of course. There's also nothing wrong with picking a tank, if your carry has a high win rate, talking about 60% upwards. A good carry, together with a good tank, is enough to win almost every game. So if you're a good tank, it will speed up your ranking up process as well. By the way, if you ever wonder what a good win rate is, if you're playing solo queue and have a win rate higher than 50%, I would consider you already as a good player. Everything higher than 60% is really awesome. Mistake number 6. Not going for objectives. Another big reason why so many matches get lost. You have to go for objectives whenever possible. The most important ones are of course the turrets. Push whenever possible, please. It opens up the whole map for ambushes and to invade the enemy's jungle. Also, defend your lanes. I don't know how many times my wife and me were the only ones who defended all three lanes. This is so important. The turtle and the lord are also important objectives. And in the beginning, the bus for the jungler. When your enemy is trying to invade the jungler in the beginning, try to help him if possible. The jungler must farm to become effective. But always remember, I'm not dying no matter what. Everything else is not an objective. Kills, for example, are almost completely worthless if you're not taking an objective after killing two or three enemies. Also, it's it's not time to clear the jungle when the Lord is running towards the enemy's base. That's the time where the whole team should push. I really can't believe how many players don't give a single f when the Lord is up and just mindlessly farm the small jungle creeps. Another thing that just happened in my last game. When you wipe out the whole enemy team, don't attack the Lord. Just destroy the base and finish the game. Why you would let the enemy's team respawn when you could just finish it? I don't understand this. Mistake number 7. Not targeting the right enemy. I saw it already about a million times that the poor enemy's tank get completely shredded apart because he get 4 ultimate blasted into his face and there's absolutely nothing he can do about. So really guys, please stop the tank abuse. Mistake number 8. Not freezing the lane. This should be basic for all ML players, but I rarely see it in any ranks below mythic and even there many times not. When you have the advantage on your lane, don't attack the minions. Let them beat the crap out of each other. Your job is to zone out the enemy. While you're near enough to the minions to get the full golden XP, keep your enemy so far away from it that he's getting none. When you're just mindlessly clearing the minions, they just run towards the tower where your enemy can farm them easily. And your advantage is melting apart. Once your enemy gets so desperate that he leaves the safety of his tower, you just beat him down and push the lane further. Afterwards, repeat, you should only clear the minion wave when you want to rotate, because otherwise your enemy can push your lane of course while you're away. Mistake number 9. Not setting proper ambushes. When you want to set an ambush, it's not enough to just hide in a bush and wait. You can spend hours waiting without anything happens. Instead, you have to hide in a place with a bait. Baits can be many things. Buffs, minions, inexperienced teammates who are pushing mindlessly. Let's take the noob teammate as an example. When the enemy is approaching him to get another free kill in a row, you let the trap snap and take him out before he even knows what is happening to him. That's by the way one way you can use your inexperienced teammates to your advantage. Now to the last mistake. Mistake number 10. Not knowing what to do next. You need to know in each situation what is the correct thing to do next. Unfortunately, there are so many situations that it would need a whole video to explain them. 